Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Well, this must be Legends Week, because right after the PAM28 Power Reserve, we've got another superstar and living legend of uh, early Von... Well, early Von Dome, early Richemont Panerai Lore. Now, this is the PAM64 Luminor Submersible 1000 meter, better known to Paneristi as La Bamba, sometimes also called the Tuna Can. You can sort of see why. Now, Bamba means bomb bombshell, bubble, it actually has quite a few meanings, so it's a hard word to translate directly, but you get the sense it means something that's bigger, outstanding, outlandish, expressive, and that certainly fits the face of this watch. And in terms of tuna can, I don't even have to translate that, all I have to do is this. There you go, that's where that nickname comes from. This was the first of the 1000 meter Panerai Luminor submersibles. Now it came out in 2000, this is a C-series watch, and it's really one of the early Vendome classics that people remember from that era when Panerai was just beginning to build its popularity worldwide, spurred along by collector club meetings and online forums run by the users themselves. This is one of those watches that those who call themselves the true Paneristi totally relate to and covet. Now, only 500 of these were built in 2000, and it's become one of the most memorable Panerai references. The fact that it's got a cult following unto itself, Panerai being something of a cult brand, this is a cult watch within the cult brand. Very desirable. This one's complete with all boxes, papers, and accessories, and I'm going to get into that a little bit more in a moment. But let's just focus on what made this watch so outstanding when it came out. Now, in the late 1950s, right around 1958, Panerai designed a watch called the Aguiziano. It was based on the 6152 case, but it was huge. It was about 60 millimeters across, completely unwearable, uh, unless you're wearing it over a dive suit and going into combat with the Egyptian Navy. Now, this watch is almost like the modern reincarnation of that. Now, I know the PAM341 brought back the Aguiziano a few years ago, but this watch predates that by a large margin. And moreover, this is a watch you can actually wear. It features all of those signature Aguiziano styling traits, from the large cambered unidirectional bezel to that almost bubble-like aesthetic, the device protecting the crown and the solid milled in lugs. This watch wears far more, I would say conventionally than the Egyptian being that if you can wear a 44 millimeter Panerai Luminor, you can wear La Bamba. Now let me show you on my wrist, which as you might know by now is six and a third or about 16 centimeters. It wears big. That's the look of the watch. This watch shouldn't look normally sized on your wrist. It should fit nicely, but it shouldn't look like a small watch. If it does, congratulations, you're Shaq. Tell me what that's like, by the way. So unless you're Shaq or The Rock, this watch is gonna be a big, bold style. It's like a Luminor Plus. But unlike the 341 Aguiziano reissue, you can actually wear this watch. And that's the great thing about it. Standout style, instant recognition, and total collector cred. Now, what it has that sets it apart is obviously that 1,000 meter maximum rated depth. It also has the de rigueur helium release valve that's been a feature of extreme divers watches since the original Rolex Sea Dweller. You've got the unidirectional bezel, which is, in my opinion, the best chronograph ever made. Because unless you're timing something over an hour, the ability to line up the minutes hand with a calibrated bezel and just count down that's as good as it gets. And, you know, that's a chronograph that never needs to be serviced or rebuilt. The watch is fantastic because the submersibles in particular use tritium in larger amounts and longer than the standard Luminor. Now, while it was phased out after 1998, that was the transitional year from tritium to Luminova for Panerai, this one built in 2000 and actually for quite a few years after the submersibles used tritium and because their indexes are so much bigger you get a bigger more beautiful patina and what you're seeing here is the real thing. This is not a dirty dial simulated patina, this is actually tritium that's aged to a beautiful off-white almost light tan color. With those huge indexes and marked hands it reads easily even from an arm's length and it's gorgeous. So that's a wonderful feature as these early Vendome watches, especially the early Vendome submersibles, begin to pass into the patina phase. It's still a modern watch, chronometer certified, rugged as all get out. Based on the Valjeu 7750 improved by Panerai to meet chronometer standards, you don't have to worry about this watch being mechanically finicky like those beautifully patinaed 1960s dive watches, but yet you get the patina all the same. It's kind of the best of both worlds in that sense. And because you can wear it, as you know, I demonstrated, even on an average to smaller wrist, six and a third, 16 centimeters, and I feel like I could do anything with this except fit it under a shirt cuff. It's just an awesome collector's piece that you can test drive out in the real world 
wear out to lunch. You don't have to baby it in a safe. So between contemporary ruggedness and vintage cool, this watch has it all. It's rare, one of only 500. Now the PAM 87 that came after, it did kind of cop the style, but no one's going to mistake that electric blue dial for this one. First of all, that one's electric blue, so distinction there. Second, this one also features that silver con you know, concentric circle guillotine sub-register. It's the small seconds right at 9 o'clock. No one's going to mistake black for blue, and no one's going to mistake two-tone for monotone. This watch is distinctive, historic, beloved, and rare. And we have one in outstanding condition. You can see from the condition of the case, both here on my iPhone and also on the high-res photography on our website, this one's never been knocked or abused. Both straps that come with this, the rubber here and the accessory textile, look as though they've never been worn. And it's kind of hard to add metal back once it's been taken off. This watch has never had any deep gouges or scratches. The finish presents is absolutely new from the boutique. Assuming you could actually find a Panerai authorized dealer back in 2000, this is how it would have come. And it would have come with all the accessories that you'll see depicted on our website, watchyouwant.com. Everything from the jeweler's tool to the accessory strap to the original limited edition certificate, boxes, papers, and chronometer certificate. This watch has the works, and it is La Bamba. There are very few watches that acquire enduring nicknames that people are still using almost 15 years after the fact, but this watch has one, and it's part of the origin of the modern Panerai myth. So whether you're old school Paneristi and you were there at the time, or you're part of the new school of the Paneristi, and you want to buy a piece of the sort of founding fatherhood of the modern Panerai hobby, this PAM64 Luminor Submersible 1000 meter La Bamba is an historic reference and an absolute gas to wear. Check it out on our website, watchyouwant.com. We are the luxury pre-owned watch authorities. I'm confident if you want a bigger, bolder Panerai Luminor with historic credibility and vintage cool, this will be the watch you want.